Okay, here I am back, and I've gone ahead and pretty much edited, um, you know, gone through and edited things and gotten it pretty much on my trace lines where I wanted it. Um, I'm just finishing up here. I went ahead and did all down here, and I'm coming back up this, uh, this area. So I'm going to finish out here. Let's double click that, find the nodes here. I want to add a cusp to this corner. I just really try to add um, sharpness to wherever I think it needs to be sharp. This, this area right here needs to be sharp. Um, the top of that needs to be sharp. It just makes it easier when I'm editing. It makes it easier when it's stitching out to make sure that you know we're not going to get any funny little corners or it's going to be rounded where, when we wanted it when we wanted it sharp. Um, I try to put those on top of each other and I'm zooming in and out to see where I am because you do get lost a little bit, um, especially when you're on top of lines. Here again, see how that's rounded? I'm going to add a, add a node. I'm going to right click, click it, cusp. Now I can pull that out and because it's a cusp, it will sharpen it out for me and how I, however I want it to be sharpened out. That looks pretty good. Um, this looks pretty good. I think I'll add a little bit more of a curve to there. And we're almost done, actually. I've got one more leaf here. And let's find out where we're at here. Oh, that's the end of it. I like to pull the end out sometimes um, and wait till I'm done to put it back in place. That way it doesn't confuse me and I know where I'm at. Here again, you can just watch me. What I'm doing, you might you might catch on, you might not. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think I've got my line going a little bit the wrong way. There, we want to curve that way. Um, let me go ahead and work on this, bring this out. Here again, see how rounded that is? Right click, cusp, then I can bring those and that node stays in place and it will just whoops, it will just really sharpen it out for me. Here again, when you draw the leaves um, by hand, you know, you don't have to be perfect getting those leaves exactly like they are. Okay, so we're, we're about ready to end this. I don't know if I'm happy with that yet. I might want that a little bit curved. This is where I tend to spend a little bit too much time. Um, here's the end of it. Let's bring this back down so that it just, you know, it's just a good idea to know where you're at. And um, I'm going to add a note here to curve it to make it look a little bit better. To me, that's pretty acceptable. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of get rid of the image behind it. I'm going to click it and then delete it and so I can really tell what's left. Um, i got a little area in here that I might want to tweak. I might be sorry for this, but again, I have to use the shape tool to do it. But it, it didn't, whoops, it didn't appeal to me, so I'm just kind of tweaking it and see how when I pulled that over, it pulled these lines off. So we're going to go ahead and bring those back to where they need to be. And I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're done with that. Oops, oh, I always do this afterwards. I see, I see problems. Um, right here, that wouldn't, that wouldn't look too good. I'm going to go ahead and use my shape tool again and bring this over a little bit so that it meets up with there. I think we're going to be fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Really, the true test is after you stitch this out to see whether or not you're um, on your lines or